I'm a weak little Zed Drew. You know what? You've convinced me. What? Carlos. You're, gonna, you're not going to do any damage? I could just I'm straight you, kill you if you attack me. Hello there. My name is Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In this episode of Kingdoms and Friends, we have Brandon, the Booster Tutor, Steve, or Mr. Bevers, and Zach from the Command Dudes. This is our second time having Brandon on the show, and hopefully not the last, as he is an amazing creator and has fun, interesting brews. Check out his random buy series on YouTube for some exciting polls and interesting commentary. You can find him at Booster underscore Tutor or at Booster Tutor across the socials. Our second guest is Steve or Mr. Bevers. Last year, we were able to get one of the legendary Mr. Bevers shoutouts and got a lot of love from his community. I've wanted to have him on the show since then, and I was not disappointed. Not only does he bring tons of positivity with his weekly shoutouts, he has some awesome pack opening videos of all different types. You can find him on YouTube at Mr. Bevers MTG and at Mr. Bevers across the socials. Our last guest for the show is Zach from The Command Dudes. The Command Dudes are one of my favorite types of channels. They have a group of friends that decide to share their playgroup with the world. On top of that, they have some really creative intros, art, and gameplay themes. If you like our themed gameplay videos, I think you'll enjoy theirs too. Check them out at The Command Dudes on YouTube and across the socials. If you're enjoying our channel and want to make sure that we can continue to bring videos to your virtual doorstep, go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you can have a virtual doorbell anytime our videos come out. <laughs> also, our merch store has been restocked for the new year, so go check out our playmats, t-shirts, dice, and a bunch more at kingdoms.tv merch. With that, let's take a look at our commanders and our starting hands for game one. First off, we have Zach playing Slogurk the Overslime. This is a landfall deck, looking to use Slogurk to make sure he always has lands to play and take advantage of all the amazing landfall abilities in blue and green. Zach's starting hand includes two islands, a forest, strip mine, crucible of worlds, Oko Thief of Crowns, and Fact or Fiction. Second, we have Brandon playing Kaikar Winds of Fury. This is a classic spell slinger deck looking to make a ton of tokens from all the value instant and sorcery spells and swarm their opponents. Brandon's starting hand includes an island, the biblioplex, steam vents, collective effort, light up the stage, prismari command, and soul blade Jin. Third, I am playing Kangi Airy Keeper. Kangi is a bird tribal deck with some combat based draw to keep the birds coming out regularly. Once I can get at least 8 mana, then it's worth casting Kangi and creating Hitchcock's worst movie for all my opponents. My starting hand includes an island, a plains, deserted beach, path to exile, Haka, Whispering Raven, Yorian, Sky Nomad, and Alrin's Epiphany. Fourth, we have Steve playing Arixmithy's Slumbering Isle. This is Mr. Bever's famous whale tribal deck. He has put together all 11 whales in MTG's history, as well as a bunch of clones to help repopulate this endangered species. Steve's starting hand includes an island, Tranquil Thicket, Yavamaya Coast, Soul Ring, Entrancing Melody, Phantasmal Image, and Progenitor Mimic. All right, let's play some magic. got a little closer so you look good everyone looks good everyone out there looks do I, good too do i look good <laughs> thank you because thank you man, all I of us look good everyone side. looks oh, good we go. today back. Okay, draw i am gonna play an island and pass uh draw for turn and then play a steam vents tapped and then pass turn draw for turn play a planes and pass draw for turn i will play a yavamaya coast tapping or a soul ring and uh, passing the turn Draw. I'm an arch enemy. Put me. Put that on the screen. <laughs> Second turn of Rex with these is pretty good. I mean, <laughs> right. Island pass. All right, draw for turn. Let's do training good. center and pass. Draw for turn. I will play a island and island, and I'm gonna play Haka, Whispering Raven. This is one side. The other side is uh, the Alrun, man, right? God of the Cosmos. Yep, I don't even know what he does. But all right, and I'll pass. Okay, so draw for turn. Then I'm gonna play this island uh, for turn. Then I'm gonna pay a life 
and let's play this Eryxmethes, as you said. I have a response. Whoa! Oh! And I got a mana drain. Oh, dang! Ouch! <laughs> All right. The boy needs a ramp. Boy thought this was ramp. casual. Cards. Mana drain, I think, is casual outside of its monetary cost, I think. <laughs> okay, that's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I disagree, since it just countered my <laughs> All right, draw. Four, Four colorless. Uh, yep. Yeah, play forest. Use a colorless. Let me get my notepad in. Happening over here. I know. I don't. <laughs> I don't really know either. Uh, Slow Gurk. Four. We'll go down to what? And we'll do a factor fiction. Look at top five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Mr. Bever, since I snatched oh, oh, oh. the guy, you can pick my cards. All right, let's give you Seasons Pass by itself, and then the other four. Guess I'll take the Seasons Pass. Put these guys into the bin. I do get two counters on my commander. See? I got nothing else to do. Mana fizzles, and I will pass the <laughs> turn. Draw for turn. Do an island. Yeah, I'm going to have to pass turn. Nope. Draw a card. I'll play a deserted beach. Yeah, let's hit Zach for one in the air. Mm -hmm. Get bonked by the beak. I'll bounce this and scry two. I guess I'll take this one. I mean, I'm just playing it. This one goes on top. And then I'll just play it again. And uh, pass turn. I apologize. I forgot to mark my health total down by one when I took my ping from you. All right, draw for turn. One. Go ahead and play this tranquil thicket, I guess. And we'll pass the turn. Untap. Upkeep draw. Three okay. mana for the Crucible of Worlds. Okay, yeah, that's good. I'm going to respond to that. Uh -oh. Attempt to path your commander. Sad times. You get a land, though. Three lands from my graveyard if I want to. Yeah, it'll go exile. Do I want to return these to hands? I just will. And then I'll go get a land. Get a forest. We will play... Protection from red. Two, two, four, four, man. Tap three. And we'll cast an Oko. What? We'll just get a food and we'll pass. Before the near turn, play Prismari Command. And make a treasure. Let's destroy your crucible. Draw for turn. Gonna play a biblioteca. And I'll use my treasure to make a white to play my commander. And pass turn. Okay, untap, draw. Oh, I'm you're right. This is a two three. I thought it was a storm crow for okay, some yeah, reason. Yeah, I thought so. I was, I was thinking it was storm crow uh, take uh one more. Yeah, the you take one more and I'm gonna send two at Oko. <laughs> and this die stays out because he didn't deal damage to a player. I will second main, play an island, and I'm going to play Joyra's Familiar. Pass. Untap and draw for turn. All right. What are we doing if not <laughs> playing whales with this deck? Right? Let's play this long finned sky whale. Only block creatures with flying. Relevant in this game. It's you know? a pretty cheap whale, yeah. I'm just going to pass. Untap, draw. Five, six. Cast Kodama. Please treat. Got to play a forest. That's going to trigger the Kodama. Play a strip mine. It's a good thing you blew up that crucible. Mm-hmm. Make food. And then we will pass the turn. Draw for turn. Carlos. Yeah. Three, three coming at you. Okay. Are you taking it? Yep. Okay. Think because I would like to spectacle my life stage. Okay. Ooh. Play my epiphany. I'll scry. I'll keep that there. And I get a spirit. A spirit. There we go. Pass turn. I will draw. I will play a tapped hollowed fountain. And then I'll play Yorian Sky Nomad. Not even gonna bounce anything. Just playing a playing a dude. He costs one less because he's legendary. Pass turn. Let's draw for turn. Play this island. How about uh, Phantasmal Image of Kodama? Sounds Pretty good. good. Uh, let's go ahead and turn your Kodama into a three three. Well then I'll swing at Oko for four then. Good job, uh, Mr. Bevers. Good job. This will be my first three. Yep, let's go to two. Yep. And then I'll pass the turn. Guess I'll crack a uh I'm not gain three life. Untap. No better time than now to uh elk your Kodama. Yeah. yeah that's fair. Um it'll die. Yes, because yeah. it gets targeted. It's gone. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is reduced by uh, three. Great Henge. One, two, three, gain two life. I mean, Go. I'd be lying if the Great Henge wasn't in my deck as well. Cast okay. Spring Bloom. Drew. Mine too. Mine too. I'll uh, sacrifice this uh, juicy forest. 
So we'll get two basic land cards for the Oh, I didn't draw from well, the ETB. It's, you, you can set, stack it yeah, so no. that uh, you draw you after. Go. So. And I think then all that's left is to uh, go to Beat Town. Booster Tutor's looking a little high and mighty at 40 HP. So yeah, that's uh, true. Three, 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 control this game. Idea. <laughs> hashtag hashtag winning right I think that's term. so how many oh one through three okay yeah i'll take that that's that's my turn draw for turn uh, i'm gonna play my land oh that lets you do it until your next turn yep to the end of your next turn five six let's overload a mizium mortars your, your kai car's not tapped, tapped right you got to kill oko then if you do that oh yeah that's right, that's right. yeah each creature yeah. yeah, four damage. Each creature I don't control. One more spirit. Oko's at three. Yeah, Oko is at three. Um, I'll come with him at two or four, just in case. Bites the dust. Yeah, pass turn. Draw. Need to be more specific. I did technically draw something. <laughs> I will hmm. foretell a card. Yeah, I guess I should attack. I'll send for the person that killed two of my creatures. Zach, because he has 43 life? Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Nope, you killed my creature. What? What? I haven't it touched anybody's <laughs> everyone's <laughs> benefits. Zach's just like, uh, uh, nothing. I, I'm I, trying, I got nothing I'm going trying on. to avenge my birds, you know. I'll pick four. Yeah, I'll pass after that. Yeah. I'll draw for uh, untap, draw for turn. Go ahead and play this island. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll just play our commander. Uh, I'll pass to you, Zach. So we have uh, five counters. Uh, let's just eat our food. I don't want to choke it out here. It's in life. Draw. You found Cast a whole bunch. Commander. There he is. Gurk gets a. It's time to get Gurk. Comes with a counter. Gee. Draw a card. Three mana for an Azusa. Gain some life. Draw a card. Oh. Nope. Windswept heave. Land one. Crack it. Get a counter. Go get a forest. And two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pay one for a crop rotation. Sacrifice. Combo. Forest. Go get a land. Get a counter. Part one of the combo incoming. Get a Yava Maya Cradle Grove. Oh, thanks. Your all turn, right, right. Peter. Oh, we're just going to play Tall Rand. <laughs> all right, I'm going to. Oh, sorry, sorry. Carlos, your turn. All right, so I will untap. See what happens. Biden of Thassa. You are at 48. Even though I'll probably get some crack back, I should probably attack Zach at this point. So, four flying there, Zach. Kind of messed up, but won't let it pass. I'll take four. Sorry, I'll draw a card from Biden of Thassa and pass the turn. Okay, I will untap. Look at all the mana we have now. We can cast some whales if we had them. Except, if, except if we, we just drew. Them. We just drew the best whale, and that is, of course. This great whale. Ooh. Yes, great whale. The best. Yeah. So I'll untap these and I'll remove a counter off of Rick's All right. They aren't targeted and they don't have to be lands you control. Wow. Nice. All right. So I'll take we'll, I'll take we'll, one. You know. If all you right. Want. Let's, let's, okay, Carlos. We'll give you a land, whatever okay. land you want. Yeah. You can pick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do this as well, just so that everyone's aware. We're at two whales. Currently. Nice. Is there a max whale or a highest whales you've played before? Uh, I think the most I've had come out during one game before either dying or the game ending was uh, seven. Ooh. So we're gonna we're gonna go like this and like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and stunt double this mm. great whale. Nice. We're gonna untap these. Whale. So we're gonna go ahead and untap. We untapped two, three of mine, right? Three of mine. So we've got four more. So let's untap. Uh, two of Zach's lands, you pick whichever ones you want, my friend. Uh, and uh, Booster Tutor, you can have one, and uh, Carlos, you can have one. Then we're going to go ahead and play this Progenitor Mimic on the oh, Great Whale. Baby. Uh, oh, baby. Um, so geez. then that's going to go ahead and make the Whale four, and uh, we will have to tap six for that. So two here, and three, four, or five, six. We'll untap five of ours, and we'll give Booster Tutor one more. And yeah, Booster Tutor, you know what, Brandon? You can have another. You can have another land. Oh, yeah. Whale count at four, and we're ready to pump out some more great whales every turn. Jeez. Uh, also, that comes down to two. And you know what? I mean, like, what kind of game is it if we're not hellbound while playing whales, right? So should we just do this? Sure, why not? Go ahead and do seven for three. We'll go ahead and entrancing melody. That's Slowgurk. What's that do? Yeah, how's that do? I gain control of it. 
<laughs> oh boy. Well, well, oh, but yeah. Picking a fight that I don't want to be mean about, but. No, no, do it. Be mean. I'm hellbent. I have no cards. Give her. I untapped your lands. Just do it. Hellbent. So, first, I'm going to destroy your commander with the strip mine. Yeah, of course. Good four. <sighs> Sorry, uh, activate slow gurk and bounce him to hand. Return three lands from my griever. There you go. Strip mine. And windswept heath. And a forest. I got the slow gurk off the table. You're welcome. Uh, I'll pass oh, the turn it. to you, Zach. Yeah, I mean, you could bounce and play your commander like multiple times yeah, a turn. Boy, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to end it quickly by making lots of whales, but it's not working out. I mean, it might. One. Classic way to win a commander game. Yeah. Exploration. Yeah. Sheesh. Get four lands, three mana, four slow gurk. Enders with a counter, draw mm -hmm. a card, play strip mine, four. land one. Yeah. Land two will be in fetch land when swept you. Six seasons past. Oko. Gross. Four is factor fiction. Two is mana drain. One is, or zero is forest. One is crop rotation. We're just having fun. Four mana for uh, factor fiction. Five. And I'm going to pick a uh, booster tutor this time. Ooh. Wasteland. Hero. Time warp. Jeez. Tracker. Forest. I, I default to Carlos, two lands <laughs> and a time warp. Two lands, time warp. And he's already played, he can only play one more land, so. Play one more land. Yeah, I'm not gonna take the time warp one. Get Titus Tracker and a mm. hero. I don't know, but what I mean is now he can have Wasteland and Strip Mind come into play without having to even sack those. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't have to do that. Well, he's, he's, he's played all his lands for the turn. Yeah, no. Now, but, yes, yeah. that's correct. Yeah. For oh wait, Carlos is open for my Azusa. Wide Go open. to combat. Azusa, known for the beats, two damage. And I will pass. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. All right. <laughs> Take this two damage from Azusa. <laughs> That's for helping them with the with the uh, factor fiction. How dare you? All right. Are we ready? Are we ready for this? Fun is overrated in Magic. Ah, yeah, um, absolutely. Narset of the Ancient Ways. So I'll get another spirit. I actually don't know uh, what that one I, does. That one oh, does. yeah. Why is this spirit gonna, sad? What happened? He's <laughs> dead. <laughs> why why is live that again? Sure? He gets to live again. <laughs> is it really living though? All right, I'm gonna plus one -er. I'm gonna add a, I'm gonna gain two life. And I'll add a white to spin this mana uh, to cast a non-creature spell. I'm gonna cast Fractured Identity oh, on the Great oh, Hinge. Or the tar Holy Oh geez. my oh, goodness. Hinge. All right, amazing. I got a response. Amazing. I'm here I got a response. <laughs> Attack three. Hero. Sacrifice forest. Good counter. And then I'll go get two basic lands, put them on the battlefield. Two islands. Two islands. <laughs> oh. He does. Uh, I forgot he has that mana drain. Yeah. Oh, I do. I knew he did, but. That's not what I was going to cast, though. I'm just going to do a counter spell. Are uh, you done after that? Mm -hmm. Two. Are I got attack. Okay, yeah. Attack. Yeah. Up, Wide open him. over here. You can hit me yeah. with your tower end. No, 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 no. Zack, Zack, Zack. He's gaining <laughs> life. Five coming at you in the air. Yeah, I got nothing. Take five. 39. All out. right. Now I'll pass turn. Tap, I, I really hope that card. Carlos has good uh, good opinions here because he's giving away the Reckoners. I still right, feel like Zack's going to probably win. So, I Zach, like. uh, hey, man, hey, man. I can tell you. I ain't got much going on from here on out. Still, so just four, <laughs> four in the air Take there. My four. I'll draw one. Thirty-five with the rest of y'all. Let's play Mary Angel. It's my one of my few non birds that makes some birds. Um, tip if you have lands that is. Um, and I'll pass. Okay, I will untap. And at the beginning of my upkeep, let's make a great whale. Uh, not that I need to tap my lands for anything in my upkeep since I have literally nothing to spend it on. Uh, but here we are. Do those count as the whale count or do they have to be like yeah, they do. whales? Oh, Absolutely, okay. they oh, count yeah. as whale count. That's <laughs> a whale coming into play. So. Fast and loose with these rules. If you want to untap one of my lands, I'll take it. Uh, sure, why not? Yes. You know, actually, I have seven, right? I have seven untaps. I just need one. I'm not I'm not a greedy man. All right, right, but I mean, like, I can give you two and I can give uh, Brandon two and I can give Zach three. There you go. Why, yeah. you, why? If no. you want. 
Yeah. Don't give Zach any. Yeah, you shouldn't give Why? Zach Thank any. Though. He's got a man in green. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give him three. Yeah, you can have three, and Brandon, you can have two. He I'll promises just not to man drain you. Right and if he wants to man drain my commander, I will laugh with him. That's just. That's just that's fine. Now I feel bad. <laughs> fine. Uh, my commander costs me eight anyway, so like, I mean, it's like all my mana, so it's exactly all my mana, so let's go ahead and just uh, play my commander. And if you want to mana drain it, go for it. <laughs> it's fine. And I don't care. You can have it. Okay. He has strip mines, so I feel like... Yeah, <laughs> he, he can literally just kill my commander <laughs> as long as it's a land at any point. I guess we'll swing this Great Whale and this Dunt Double. We'll swing one of them at Narset, and then... We'll swing the other one at you, Carlos. Take five. All right, I'll block with the spirit. Yep. Then I will pass, and then I'm going to go turn off my light. Strip mine, strip mine, strip mine. Take out the Boros Garrison. There, how's Ooh, that? Why would you do that to me? No more glare anymore. Right. There you go. I'm on the Oh, my goodness. The, the good times keep on coming. Uh, this is why I keep untapping your lands because I want to see these good cards you keep talking about. That's got to be it. Or, That's the only reason, right? Yeah, that or or I'm just an idiot, I I, uh, Get a counter. Oh, boink. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys can probably get to see it. Tantiova. Draw. <laughs> Rhinewood Falls. Or, do it against it. Tantiova. Play the Rhinewood Falls. You see what he did? What you see what did? Kick, him Kick him out of the lobby. Kick him out of the lobby. Game three total. Draw a card. Get the Baylos, get a Void Slime on top. And that is my first land. I get five lands. Three, Tireless Tracker, Counter, draw a Void Slime, flip this thing, Heroic Intervention, Crop Anywhere Rotation, the that whole Field oh, yeah. of the Dead, six, seven. So I have exactly seven, so I will make Zombie. And then draw a card and gain life. Field of the Dead in a landfall deck, you say? I never. Zombie. The oh. arrow to hand. Arrow. No life. <laughs> I did get a clue when I came in. Mm, Rampant but... growth. Rampant it growth. Gain kill, alive. It would draw kill this whole board, yeah. Misty Rainforest. Nice. Play Misty Rainforest for land two. Draw a card and a life, please. It's a far seek. Allegedly. Uh, well, like, very long time. Life. Draw uh, they, this island. I have a feeling over there. That. They're, Crack that. Yeah. Goes up to seven. Exactly. Land ETP, Tatiova, make a clue. Either. Yeah. Do you mean like. Land four. Listen, this, uh, this Mara Leaf Pixie in my hand is going to do all this work for us. I'm sure of it. And a map. the tide of this counter. Game, there we go. Now you can get the ones from Graveyard East. Draw. <laughs> uh, gain a life. Flip. Fierce Guardianship. There's the Fierce Guardianship. All right. See, I knew somebody had it. As long as he doesn't draw that Fierce Guardianship, we should be okay. This is Rainforest. <laughs> draw. <laughs> mm -hmm. ah. You mean the yeah, Mana Drain and the Void Slime as well, <laughs> you know? This is at five, so I can't play any more. Three mana for an Oko. He's Let's back. Elk the progenitor guy. It's right now. Oh, combat. Oh, it's an elf now, not an elk, because I, my brain <laughs> decided to put elf. I don't know why. I'm going to attack. Just past turn. Yeah, I got a big slogurt. Yeah. Mm, past turn. He's a 10 10. Booster Tutor. Trying to get me to not attack. You got right, a 10, 10 trample coming at you. Yeah. Wait, trample? He's Where's got trample. Yeah, he's natty he does trample. trample. <sighs> coming at uh, me or Narset? Definitely coming at you. Final take <laughs> uh, right, like... Trying to throw the planeswalker under the bus. I get it. <laughs> huh? Oh, huh? that's all I got, guys. <laughs> That, oh, that's all? Right. all? That's, that's all, all you got? Okay. <laughs> you draw my land and then pass turn, probably. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh, look at that. All right, so I got my land. Let's go negative two. I'm going to draw a card, then discard a card. I don't think you have to discard a card. What oh, I should, sorry, yeah, right. what I should do is use Biden to make Brandon attack. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Force him into okay. Force. Attack me or him one way or the other. <laughs> All right, I'm going to discard Rise of the Tides. I'll do six damage to Oko. Wait, what is Rise the Tides? Oh, Rise from the Tides. It's a create a tap 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token for each instant sorcery in your graveyard. But then why did you do damage? 
Uh, because I have her ability when you Perfect. discard. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. And then I guess I'll just play, play Propros. So I'll make a spirit. You wanted Brandon's help to kill Zach. I'll you take it. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't yeah I'll you. take damage. You, know? <laughs> um, you did get a creature. Yeah. Okay. So two damage to. Oh, actually, no, it's when I cast it. So you don't take yeah. damage. Oh, you it's, cast it. Yeah. Her, yeah. I cast it. Oh, I you the, did get the creature. Yeah. I'll do lightning greaves so I can make another spirit and everyone take two. All right. Got eight, out of... eight in the air. Then I take eight. And pass turn. Okay. Humble here we go. Three, four. I really need a land deck. I really need a land. Not a land. Okay. I'll attack you for seven, Zach. No blood. They're both flyers? Yeah. Come on, baby. Two cards, no lands. Yep, yep, no yep, 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 <laughs> yep. I'll maybe give you a chance on your turn, Mr. Bevers. I'm going to bounce. I'm going to play Mist Raven and bounce your commander to your hand. Fine. Uh, Zach. Oh, okay. I thought you were hitting his. I was like, like, that's wild. Like, you're bouncing your <laughs> like, commander? I was why? like, okay, no, I said I'm giving, I'm giving Mr. Bevers a chance. You know? I guess I just bounce it and get three lands to him. Okay. Just with my wasteland item. And I'll play a Mind Shrieker for two, and I'll pass the turn. Okie dokie. Untap and look at my elk that says elf <laughs> and wonder what happened elf to me in this, in this <laughs> draw for turn. Uh, two and two. We'll play my Planeswalker, Kiora, Master of the Depths. Is that on untap stuff? Yeah. Plus one is untap up to one target creature and up to one target land. Or again, minus two and reveal cards. Reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a creature card from or land card and or I should say and or a land card from among them into your hand put the others in the group. So we're just going to minus two. So we've got uh, Colossal Whale, Quasi Duplicate, Phase Dolphin and Gyre Engineer. So I guess we'll take this Colossal Whale. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and swing at you with all of my things. I've got four things, three, five, fives and a three, three. I will block the 3-3 three, three with this 4-4, four, four, and then I will jump the other 3 with some zombies. Regenerator Mimic to the yard. Second main phase, we will play this Mara Leaf Pixie that I told you all about, and I will pass to you. Fantastic. End of days. Draw. Both of them. Yep. You can make <laughs> Kluger, 20 counter. Tokens. Draw I'm from my gather Henge. specimen. Did you draw uh, from your Great Henge? I did draw from my Great Henge. I drew... Uh, Permadruid. Gain two from tapping, Great Henge, and we're gonna cast it. Druid gets a counter. I draw Mr. Griffwitch, and please. I think our out here is right to mill him out, right? That's the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Just try and stay alive until he's so bored. Gain one, draw. Escape shift, escape good. shift. Uh, I get a zombie. I'm just looking for something. Reveal. World Shaper. Strip mine, land two, gain a life, draw a card, make a zombie, uh, make a blue. Everything seems in line. I drew the world shaper, revealing dryad. Oh, blow up, hollowed fountain. Mine. Ouch. Play, strip mine, three, draw a card, gain a life. There's six studies, goes up to five. Drop it. Blow up. Up Temple of Epiphany. Play this for land four. Bah. Draw this guy, gain a life. Make a zombie. This goes up here. Reveal lightning greaves. Blow up the training center. Got me I'm, twice. Just seeing, I'm just seeing whatever pops <laughs> up. Draw this, gain you, a life. Is what you're saying? I'm just trying to go fast and not think about and it. Too blow much. up if you can't see my lands. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Good Dama's reach. Uh, blow up the non basic that you got, Carlos. Uh, go to buy. What kind of game are you Netflix trying to play five. here, Zach? You know? <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> draw this. I'm just trying to get the one combo. Well, that is a good card. Played five lands. That's where I max out right now. Thinking but you've got that more. druid in your hand, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Play a dryad. Mm. Gets a counter. Draw, draw counter. Avengers and a car. Reveal. Cast Time to gear and break. Mystic reflection our Avenger. Draw a gear and break for my sixth land. Draw a card, which is an island. Revealing mesmeric orb. Well, that could kill me. <laughs> oh, but. <laughs> Quick, someone figure out yeah. how to put it into play from the top of his library. Five, six, seven mana. Casting the Avenger. 
-hmm. holding priority on the ETB, casting Mystic Reflection to make them all copies of Avengers Endicars. How many? Uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22, 22. 22. 22. 22. 22 Avengers Endicars that each make 22 20. things. So I have 23 total Avengers Endicars. But He's got Rakdos Charm. Making 22. I have Psychonic Rift, but I don't have the mana for it. <laughs> 484 uh, plant tokens. 484. Guys, we're still in this. We got flyers. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can't do anything. I'll play Lightning Greaves. I think I'm good giving it to you. Do you guys have anything? Basically, all I can really attack with is I'm going to equip Slogurk. Off the next card, so we're good. <laughs> attack Booster Tutor with Slogurk. I'll I, take eight. I'll I mean, I, I guess we can go around real fast. I don't think it'll take a yeah. long time. So. As well. Right. That is all I got. See, he's done. Perfect. All right, Brandon. We only have to do 36 damage. I've got two. That just means 24 from you. Brandon, that's all we need. I am discarding one four lands. All right. I'm going to play collective effort. I'll escalate it eight times. I guess I have to respond. Your guardianship. How dare you? I think I died if that happened. Yeah. Everyone takes two because I did make right. a spell at least. Make a dude. Or make a dude. And that's all I got. Two less damage that we need to do to Zach. I'll untap, draw a card. Yeah, I'll attack you for 10 flying. Yeah, I take 10. To 24. Draw four. Yeah, cool lands. Seaside Haven. Yeah. I'll play this cool card that I've never played yet. I used to love it. The Gus Cloak Savior. Good card. Has a built in reconnaissance. And pass turn. Let's untap, I guess. And I know the card on the top of my library is not an answer to any of the shenanigans that are going on, because it is in fact an island. We'll go ahead and get rid of this Kiora and see if we can uh, reveal something that's easy useful. We've got a guardian project, a turn to frog, a court of calling, and a forest. So I get a forest and these go to the bin. I guess I'll play this forest and then I'll play this colossal whale to up my whale count and then pass the turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> almost at a record, almost the record whale count. Almost. Almost got there, almost. Untap, draw, y'all see what this is. And then I'm one buff sure on all the dudes, two buffs on all the dudes. Drag, drag this, go get yeah. something. That's forest. Three plus one plus ones on 200 guys. Sweet. Two with 200 guys. Mm. Yep. In my experience, the most common way to die from an Avenger of Zendikar is with Perforos or Impact Tremors on the board. In this blue-green version, we actually died to the elementals and the plants. It seems a little more cathartic. Also, Slogurk is an amazing new commander. I don't think you can build a bad Slogurk deck. At least I haven't seen one so far. All of us decide to play new commanders for game two. Steve switched to Lind, Cheerful Tormentor, playing Curses. With a starting hand of Island, a Swamp, Reflecting Pool, Lightning Greaves, Chromatic Lantern, Gissa Glorious Resurrector, and Kirik Son of Yagmoth. Brandon switched to Galea, Kindler of Hope, playing Aura Voltron, with a starting hand of a Plains, Sungrass Prairie, Birds of Paradise, Eel Umbra, Hero of Aroas, Eidolon of Countless Battles, and Righteous Aura. Carlos switched to Edgar Markov, playing mid-range vampires, with the starting hand of a Mountain, Spectator Seating, Legion's Landing, Talisman of Hierarchy, Goblin Bombardment, Blood Tracker, and Immerstrom Predator. Zack switched to Zedru the Greathearted, playing Pillow Fort, Alternate Wind Cons, with the starting hand of two islands, Azorius Signet, Aura of Silence, Commander Sphere, Dak Faden, and a Crowan Horse. All right, let's jump into game two. All right, well, let's draw for turn. And let's play a swamp and then pass the turn. Right, draw for turn, play a uh, planes and pass for turn. Okay, draw. I'm gonna play Spectre, Spectator Seating. Thanks for being my opponents. I'll play a <laughs> Legion's Landing. Uh oh. So this oh, one, when, when this enters, I get a 1 1 white vampire creature with lifelink. It is different from my regular ones. So, um,. And then when I attack with it, with three or more creatures, it turns into a land that makes one ones. And then I'll be done. Oh, draw for turn. Uh, play an island and pass. Uh, draw for turn. Go ahead and play this island. Tap for a Sage of Mysteries. And pass turn? Yes, I'll pass. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Forest and Birds of Paradise. Okay, draw for turn. I will 
play a prismatic vista and then i'll crack it for a swamp i think i just play a talisman of hierarchy i attack i'm gonna attack zach for one because i have a feeling i'm not gonna be able to get easy. through very very easy get one in there and i'll pass draw for turn play in island tap two for an azoria signet pass let's untap so let's play this swamp for turn and then for three play this chromatic lantern so i guess we'll just pass draw for turn play hero so all my auras are one less and if he gets targeted uh plus one plus one counter on him then i will bounce the forest and pass turn all righty untap draw i'll play a mountain um i'll play a imistrum predator so three three flying dragon vampire vampire dragon yeah i can sack other creatures to give it indestructible taps it um i can also exile things from graveyards to make it bigger um i also get one of edgar's little dudes and i'll send one more at zach and Take actually one. forgot he had lifelink so i'm at 41 i'll pass one tap draw That's scary turn walk myself in the head for one raugrin trium three <laughs> you're gonna do commander sphere and then we're gonna pass all right let's go ahead and play this reflecting pool yeah. We're going to play this uh, Gissa, Glorious Resurrector. Ooh. Send a message. So let's go ahead and uh, swing at back for zero. <laughs> no I'll mercy. Pass, I'll pass to you. For the end of turn, I'll tap for a blue, and I'll flash in Il Umbra. And Classic. And heroic nice. trigger too, right? Yep. So it is a 4-4. Four, four. Draw for turn. Four. I'm going to play Righteous Authority. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have one, two, three, four cards in my hand. Gets a trigger. <laughs> the guess is what you should be afraid of. I know, the guess is gonna like, uh I'm not playing the mono removal. This is true. You did do that for me. So, Carlos. <laughs> well, that, that's all it took. What, all right. what the heck? Wow, okay, I'm, I'm right. easy. <laughs> nine come back. <laughs> right, Own five. Own five. All right, pass turn. Draw for turn. I Draw land, that's sort of inconvenient. But I will try and get the one from this legion's landing. That's why I didn't block. I'll attack nine. you for five. Who? Brandon? Who? The guy that just hit me for nine. Who? That, that guy. Five. Oh, <laughs> That'll God. flip this <laughs> legion's landing into a Adanto the First Fort. I'll gain one. I do get to exile something. I don't get a counter unless it's a creature, right? Yeah, doesn't it just put a counter on Oh, never on mind. It? Yeah, so you, you take one extra damage. Uh, Brandon, and yeah, it gets oh. a counter. I thought it had to be a creature for some reason. Second main phase. Tap two for another talisman. Talisman of indulgence. And pay four for a blood tracker. I'm not 100% positive on this guy, but he might be okay. He is a 2-2 flyer for four. I can pay a black and two life and put a counter, a plus one counter on it. Mm -hmm. And the one that leaves the battlefield, I draw a card for each plus one counter on it. Alrighty, I get another little dude and I'll pass. Okie doke. There we go. Right. That makes more sense. <laughs> Somebody was saying something about a third island. There we go. I get out of the hand. There we go. Perfect. See? All right. So all the things I can do are not nice. Do it. I mean, but I can make them friends. Good. Three mana for a Dak Faden. <laughs> then uh, I'm gonna minus it down to one. Carlos, I'm gonna yoink your. You have a. Why white... would you take Chromatic Lantern? There's one that's a black red one, and the other one is white black. Yeah. I'll take the white black one. Okay. And that thing was tapped. Yeah. Tapped. White red. That is all I can uh, do. Yes, sir. All right. Well, let's hear. I'll play a mountain. So now, if you want to steal the Chromatic Lantern, at least I have my other color. Play lightning griefs for turn. We're gonna put this curse of the nightly of the nightly hunt. We're gonna put it on uh, Zach. I'm do sure you have we'll... a preferred color that you want, Zach? Is blue okay, or do you want a different color? <laughs> I'm it's sure. Fine. I'm sure we'll all get a chance to be cursed as well. Oh wait, and that's um, an enchantment, right? Correct. So, so I get to mill. It's like target player though. Let's let's Are mill you, Carlos. You probably shouldn't mill me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many cards? Two, two, right? Pa Patriarch's bidding and Phyrexian reclamation. Dude, to your credit, you just got rid <laughs> of two good. things. <laughs> right. Speaking of <laughs> reclamation things, I'll pass to you, uh, Brandon. 
right. I equipped I the Greaves, by the way. I get to draw two cards. Play in that forest. Play Griff's Boon. So I guess plus one, plus O, oh, and flying. I just need two. That's right. Island of Countless Battle. And that's bestowed? That is bestowed, yes. So oh, great. Grand. Bevers. Yeah, I'll take 17, oh, I guess. Okay. I mean, and I can't then... do anything about that. <laughs> that's her. Draw for turn. I'll play a soul ring. Let's send uh, a 1-1 one, one lifelinker at Brandon. Two one ones at Zach Faden. Maybe I just save these back for that huge flyer, actually. Yeah, just uh, three damage. Or one. Right, I took one. Yeah, one going to you, two going at uh, Dak Faden. So you didn't part about the this big flyer, too, is that Eel Umbra prevents it from getting murdered. Oh, that's right. Yeah, totem. I'm going to pay five for a Bishop of Rebirth. Yeah, I need some mana to pump into this blood tracker, so I think that's my better option. And I'll get another vampire and pass. But, uh, I do gain one life, actually. Mountain. Four. Four Zedru. Curse Four it. mana. <laughs> Four and a crow and horse. I want to ETB. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to give it to uh, Mr. Bevers. And then on your upkeep, we all make uh, one ones. One. Nice. Perfect. Everyone but Bevers? Or everyone? Yes. Yeah, everyone but him. O4 defender. Why do I why do I get the O4? <laughs> You're a cool dude. There you go. <laughs> then uh, yeah, pass. So we all get a guy on your upkeep. Yep. If you just I'm paying, draw over it with paying a, six life and I'm gonna play uh Kirk. And don't worry because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and play Lindy and pay two more life. So that way I'm even closer <laughs> to death. Okay, death touch. Oh. Put your graveyard from your battlefield. Then at my upkeep, I get to move it to somebody else, and I yeah. get to draw two cards. But what if you have like five of them go on you at once? <laughs> Isn't that yeah, pretty bad? It's fine. Well, it's 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 bad, yes. But at the same time, it's like I will pass the turn. Draw two cards. We're just gonna do sword of animus. Yeah, that's only plus one plus one. It's not, nah. it's not trample yet. Oh, 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 oh. No, no oh. trample, sadly. I'm a weak little Zed Drew. You know what? You've convinced me. What? Carlos. You're, gonna, you're not going to do any damage? I could just I'm straight you, kill you if you attack me. What? Yeah, you need That's to right, watch Fine. Out. Zach, go. Go down to 20. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> that that was my bargain. Oh, yeah. You you listened to his bargain, and you can now <laughs> wow. listen to mine. No way to see. I almost did it. I almost did it. Carlos? <laughs> it's close. It's close. Carlos, Carlos hey. was like, actually, no. <laughs> I don't always politic, but sometimes, you know, I'm going to throw it down, you know? My turn? Uh, Yeah, faster. Okay, end of turn, I'm going to put two, four life and two counters on the blood tracker. All right, that's a soldier. I will draw for turn. I need to lose my life. That's right. I've got to get a basic land. Gosh. The sword trigger. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Here's some spicy things. I'm going to play first a Viserys here. Get another vampire. And then a five or coat of arms. Very big. So I have four tokens plus three other creatures. So they all get plus six plus six. And unless some of these others share any types. Wizard, these two get plus one plus one more. I have two wizards as well. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Oh, my soldier does get bigger. And your soldiers are mm -hmm. all bigger. So all the soldiers are plus three plus three. Correct. Plus yeah, two, the plus soldier two. tokens. The stupid horse. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Plus two plus two. The, the buffed enchantment dude is a soldier, so it is plus yeah. three. It is oh. Okay, okay. Yeah. So four fours. And human from the Giza and the... Uh, all three are humans. Right? Yeah. Three. Then they also get buffed from that. Yep. Oh, yeah, my brain. He's a human also. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Someone. Okay. So I have... All your vampires get plus eight, plus eight. Yep. Plus these vampire wizards get plus f another uh, plus you. three. You have two wizards? I have two wizards. So oh, plus three. Yep. Yeah. So this is um, oh, plus 11. And then the rest of the vampires, vampires get plus eight. And this, there's no other clerics or dragons, right? Okay. All right. I will send my biggest thing is this flying dude. He's four plus, so he's 15. 
And you have no, just kill me. Yeah, you have, have no, no, flyers. no flyers. Okay. And you can just kill me with that. My one blood tracker will come at you. So if you can take care of it, though, you uh, you live. You know. I'm I'm tapped out, so I can't. Or someone maybe could save you. And then the soldier. And then I have one more flyer. And there are this predator will go at Zach. It is a four um, plus, plus eight. eight plus it'll exile. exile. Yeah. I do Zach. So it'll be. Oh, yeah, if you have something, I guess, sure. I yeah, there we go. I got yeah. deck feeding. Can hit him with the dragon. Yeah, I think I, I mean, can only kill two of bird, you. Though. I can only kill two of you. Yeah, and he can block one of the. Okay. He can jump mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So, all right. I. Can I kill Brandon? Okay. Brandon is the scariest. So, wait. Um, if I <laughs> send these two. I guess I'll just use math for blockers. I block one flyer. Yeah, I'll send. I'm sending everything else um, at Brandon. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to have any flyers after this. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Might just give it to Brandon, but don't block the maelstrom, dude. How much do I take? You, I think you live. Yeah, you're just taking thirteen. Okay, so I go down to five. Bevers, this kills you unless you do something. If I block two, of the biggest. What is if, it? Thirty-one. So there's only one. The rest are, well, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So thirty-one. So thirty-one damage. All right, and then my guys die. Literally, if oh. I had one mana, I could just shoot everybody, but nope. I can't. So I think. Yeah. Dak Faden, baby. Yep. Dak Faden, baby. Dak you gain nine life. Does the uh, horse go back to you in play, or does it go to your yard? It goes back to me because it enters the battlefield and then it gains control. So I did control it. Yeah. So then when you die, it does return back to me. Um, I'll just pass the turn. And I'll draw. So we'll tap this commander sphere for a uh, white and we'll pop it. Not what we wanted. Play planes for turn. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't kill you. I got nothing. I'll pass. Your turn. Draw two for turn. If you can do 39 damage at once, you deserve it anyways. <laughs> do your core spirit dancer. I'm wondering if I should put everything on my hero because he'll get bigger. The thing that can kill him that is unblockable right now should... <laughs> yeah. Well, I have this, so I can make that unblockable too, but I don't know if it's really even worth it. But then so, he's already getting that, and he'll get a big another plus one, plus one counter every time I target him. But it does that. It adds four more damage. Right, but it's four damage that wouldn't get through otherwise. Yeah. Right. True. It's actually that, more than four, right? Is yeah. Plus four? Right. right. Yeah, it's six damage now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So then I got that. Let's draw a card now. Do this, and we'll do ethereal armor. Oh yeah, that's and it. A card. I think. And it was nineteen before. So now I have one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine creatures or land or nine creatures and enchantments for that. And this is just for enchantment. So one, two, five, six. So that's ten. 11. I think the soldier's bigger than four. It's not actually four. It's plus. The soldier gets by himself one. five soldiers, so it gets plus four, plus four. four it's right? a no. five, 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 plus five. one, plus one. And then. So this is 12 total. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So 20 plus one, so 21. 21 plus 12? Only 33. Damn it! Woo! -hoo -hoo. The life. Oh, wait, wait. Plus, plus, plus one. Okay, so 34. 34. 34. Wait, if you I play hope. your commander, you can play the top from your library? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Commander okay. also counts as a creature for the. Oh, I see. What you mean. Oh, yeah. Right? Uh, but, but the elf knight, too, so that sucks. Well, that's close. That's super close. If you would have drawn one more. Like, one more enchantment. Pump, yeah. Pump, like any kind of pumpy enchantment, that was it. Oh, I just I just realized, too, I didn't. I could sack two soldiers to lower the damage. Might as well get in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, attack you for 35. There we go. Well, I guess I do just to make sure sack my soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that goes reduces down. it by, by four what? damage total, right? Because both 31. of your guys. Oh wait, two. I didn't count his plus plus. Oh, from the from the coat of arms. From being a soldier. Okay, so now he gets plus two plus two instead of plus four because I sacked mine. Well, it would have been enough, but <laughs> it would have been just enough, right? Elsewhere, uh, just enough. Nice, nice. How much damage is it now then without the two yeah, soldiers? You, you lose 37. four. 37. <laughs> and if I give you a creature, that's 39. I, well, you have to give him the creatures. So give him the creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. So let's, you want to well, give him the creatures? Let's, let's see how big it is beforehand. All right. Well, I feel like 
Okay. Let's assume. Let's assume you have the creatures though. Yeah, it'd be two extra. So yes. that guy's twenty-seven. Okay. Now here. you have your other dude. Okay. So three. So he is yeah three by himself. So eleven. Thirty-eight. Are you kidding? You can only give him two. Can you give him Zedru? I can only. I don't have enough mana for. Her. More. No way. I thought you had it with the extra creatures. All right. Well, so I assume you're keeping your creatures then. I go to three. Is that right? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> okay. Well, coat of arms, baby. Right? <laughs> it was almost your undoing, but it wasn't. Coat of arms. Math is for the table. Yeah, math is <laughs> for right. everybody. Let's see if I draw land. Draw... No land. I'll play Goblin Bombardment and then I'll attack you guys. The thing is, I got a Heliod's Intervention. Okay. I don't and really I can make somebody this. gain 12 life or which yeah, you should... I could blow up the coat of arms too. Yeah, that won't matter at this point, I don't think. But I do yeah. think the life you should do before Goblin Bombardment's on. Yeah, be, exactly. Because... So I'll give Booster Tutor plus 12 life. What? Look at this sacrifice. Wow. Yeah. Sure, I'll take it. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'll now, tell your story. Now the goblin bombardment <laughs> <laughs> comes out, and then I I think I just uh, swing him, yeah. pop me. Yeah, yeah, I think I can send one flyer at you and the rest at Brandon. Either way, mm. yeah, just and I think it's better that yeah, way. That's still like a fifteen fifteen, right? Yeah. So I'll send the predator at Zach and the rest at Brandon. GG. Nice. Very close. That was Very super close. close. Yeah. I was. Coat of arms. Coat of arms, baby. It really is crazy to me how often just a couple life points can make the difference in who wins the game and who loses. Also, I've been afraid to play coat of arms in a lot of decks, but I think if you use it as a finisher, it's worth it. Well, I personally had a blast in today's games. Did you have a favorite moment? I'd love to hear them down in the comments below. I do try and respond to every comment here in our YouTube videos. Another big thanks to Steve, Brandon, and Zach for coming on the show today. I really think you should go check out all their socials and their channels. You won't regret it. This year is really important for Kingdoms as a whole. We are trying to make this something more than just a side hobby. And so if you'd like to support us and see that happen too, consider becoming a patron. You get access to our awesome Discord community, EDH game days, deck help, additional videos in our vault, and a bunch more. Go to patreon.com slash kingdoms TV to learn more. I want to give a special shout out to our samurai patrons, David Siraj, Morton Christensen, Jordan Ritchie, and Revolution Gaming. You are the pillars of kingdoms. With that, thanks so much for watching and keep it nerdy.